So you have been outspoken about AI. Um, could you talk about what you think the positive future for AI looks like and how we get there? Okay, I, I mean, I do want to emphasize that um, this is not really something that I advocate or, or this is not prescriptive. This is simply pre hopefully predictive. Because um, people will say, like, well, like, like this is something that I want to occur instead of so this is something that I think that probably is the best of the available alternatives. Um, the best of the available alternatives that I can come up with and maybe somebody else can come up with a better approach uh, or, or better outcome is that uh, we achieve democratization of AI technology, meaning that uh, no one company or a uh, small set of individuals has control over advanced AI technology. I think that that's very dangerous. Um, it could also get stolen by somebody bad, you know, like some evil dictator of a country could send their intelligence agency to go steal it and gain control. It just becomes a very unstable situation, I think, if you've got any um, any incredibly powerful AI. Um, you just don't know who's who's going to control that. So it, it's not as I think that the risk is that the AI would develop a will of its own right off the bat. I think it's more that's, uh, the concern is that some, someone um, may use it in a way that is bad. Um, or, or, and even if they weren't going to use it in a way that's bad, that somebody could take it from them and use it in a way that's bad.